working and I believe we are live. Yay! Quick check here. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit late because I got to shave, had to shave because I was talking to Hope. It's like, I looked at myself. <laughs> I was kind of scrappy. Oh my gosh, you're not even that bad. <laughs> so oh wait, uh, let me share this out uh to a few people on my page and then we'll start um so um if you guys can hear us um message us say hey we can hear you guys or just say hey you know here from uh cali we got um jamon on the line already what's up buddy we got hi two, guys uh <laughs> from saint paul all right too. What's going on, too? What's going on, Jamon? How's your sausage business going? Yeah, too. How are you doing? How's uh, how's Minnesota up there? How's... People still right? Uh, people still stealing stuff up there too. <laughs> <laughs> and hope, uh, hopes from Milwaukee, Milwaukee, right? Wisconsin. Yep, Milwaukee. that's where I'm at. How's, how's crime over there? Is is it pretty oh, bad? Or yeah, every single day. You, um, are you dodging, dodging yeah. and stuff I'm like just that? home. <laughs> I just home? stay home. Oh. Yeah, avoid the trouble. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we got, we got 19 of you, all of you guys, 23 of you guys. Thanks for wow, joining. Wow, that's us. great. Thanks for coming, guys. So we're just gonna do a little uh, sharing here, and then we'll get we'll get going with the show. So thanks you guys for joining. You any comments? Any questions for Hope? You know. Go ahead and comment below, and we'll take it from there. Uh, let me just do this share here, <clears throat> and then we'll go. So how's the weather over there? Is it uh, getting cooler? Um, Here and there, like especially at night, but in the morning, during the day, it's pretty hot. <laughs> I bet it's yeah. really hot down in Florida. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it says it says like ninety seven or something or ninety five, but it's like the index is like it actually is more hot than that. So wow. like with humid and everything, so it's like, uh, you know. So I, I could not live in Florida. That's way too hot. <laughs> um. So yeah, usually you know us people, we usually just stay inside because we get the AC going. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, that's how it is in Florida. We just we just stay inside. We we go from the car to the house. And that's mm -hmm. it. And then if we really want to go to the beach and stuff, we go there for like, you know, a couple minutes or 30 minutes or so because you stay any longer, you get burnt. Oh, and then, yeah. Um, and then that's it. You go out, sunbathe for like a few a few minutes, and then that's it. You're, mm -hmm. you're done. So. Yeah. Uh, sharing. All right. Let's just get done sharing. So we got a few people. Hey. Um, Hi, guys. Rob. Zod Ann, so proud of you, sweetie. Is that your auntie? Who? Zod, Zod Ann, Kim. Uh, uh, maybe. Could be. Yo, <laughs> uh, thanks for from White Bear. All right. White Bear. We got White Bear in the house. Let's represent. See how many people are from Wisconsin. I know. Are Wisconsin folks. She's from Milwaukee. Let's see how many Wisconsin folks will, will represent and say, hey, you know, I'm here in Wisconsin. Come at your city. We got a hey Chang, what's going on from Fresno? Um I get Chang Chang. Chang's got an awesome business going on. We're gonna we're gonna do a show on uh, one of his business. Uh maybe this week or maybe next week. So uh Key, Key, you still driving? Still driving that truck in California? Oh, she's from Chicago. Uh hope. <laughs> uh Zod and find when you answer from Chicago. How do you see these comments? I can't really see them. I'm just oh, it's on the uh, Mo Hustlers page. So yeah, I'm on the live. Oh, it's probably going <laughs> slow for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Angel. I think Angel's your sister. Yeah, yeah she's from Chicago. Any Chicago people? Love to hear Chicago. That's actually where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Julie says she's from New York. Right. <laughs> Uh, Thule is actually from California. Oh, okay. One of our legendary singers. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And we got uh, Yang Yang. 
from Wisconsin. So Wisconsin Yang, in the house. You just wake up. I think uh, you're just waking up to do your bakery business right now, right? Is that where you uh -huh. just woke up? Uh, I think he does his bakery during the night shift. Um, all right. I think I'm shared out. I think let's start. Uh, let me pull up my notes, man. I don't remember what show we're on. It's been so long. Sorry, guys. Uh, you know, had a lot of stuff going on <clears throat> business wise, family wise, COVID. So, this is our first show back in a long time. So, uh, uh, let's get going. All right. So, I think this is show 26. Let me just make sure. Man, if I had this right, let me just go to my events here. Yep. This is 26. Is it? 26. Yep, show 26, Hustling at Age 19. So we got an awesome guest today. Her name is Hope out of uh, Milwaukee, right? Yep, from Milwaukee. So just curious, what do you, how do they say Milwaukee? Like, is it Milwaukee or do you guys <laughs> say Milwaukee? Or, um, I, mean, I lived in Milwaukee for a while, but it's been so long. Does people I don't know. say Milwaukee or... <laughs> I've never really heard it said like that, but I I think mostly people who are from Milwaukee say uh -huh. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Milwaukee? <laughs> Some wow. people, yeah. I know. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So uh, welcome to the show. Hey, we, we love this, right? We love, mm -hmm. we love to hear about entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And, you know, I, find, I mean, you're like a young entrepreneur. So you're like a what we call like a young hustler, young, <laughs> young home hustler. So we want you, you, you to come on the show and say, hey, what, what, what was your mindset? I mean, at 19, right? You're 19, right? Yes, I'm 19. So I, I mean, I remember when I was 19, I was just like a cashier, and you know, I was like, <laughs> I never even think about like doing a business or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So we want you to come on. Maybe you can inspire some younger folks, or we just want to see, hey. You know what inspired you to be like a like a business or entrepreneur so um yeah tell us a little bit about yourself first um okay well i well i was born in like chicago illinois and then um probably around like 2011 i moved to milwaukee i went to a Hmong school and then that's where i met a lot of Hmong friends got to know more about the Hmong culture and everything and so that was really nice um and uh, right now, since I'm done with high school, I'm at UW Milwaukee. Um, I'm studying for business administration for human resources. Um, okay. So that's part of one reason why I kind of wanted to go into making my own business. Um, and I am a twin. I'm the youngest of a twin. <laughs> yeah. It's, so, it's how does that cool. work? Like, so, so which one came out first? My sister did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then it was me. But they right, say so that they say that the youngest twin is always the older one because they let the other one go first. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. So, yep. so, so we'll get this out. She, she is my niece, right? No, right. we're cousins. We're cousins. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I think of this. I think of this kind of stuff. Sorry. So she is my cousin. Let's get this out of the way. But. She is awesome. I mean, the way her mindset and stuff. So we, we, we uh, I want to just get that out of the way. So <laughs> I act like I'm, I'm like I don't know her, but yeah, I do kind of know her. But I wanted just to let her, you know, talk about her, her, you know, her, her, mm -hmm. her feel. So yeah. So um, we talked about your, your, uh, you and your sister are twins, and then you are you in college? Yes, I am in college. I am. Um, okay. I'm studying UW Milwaukee. Uh huh. Yeah. And HR was what you were talking about. Yep, HR is what I'm aiming uh, for. Okay, cool. And I mean, what are you currently doing right now? Like primary job or anything like that? Or so in the beginning of March, I actually applied for um, job campuses, jobs on campus. So I was actually um, hired as a, a human resource assistant mm -hmm. and also a um, a office assistant, mm -hmm. but because of COVID, um, I was kind of laid off. <laughs> so oh. yeah, I'm currently unemployed, and, but I do have this business aside. So it's pretty okay now. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, yeah. You have something to fall back on? Yeah, that's so amazing. Is it? Were you nervous at all when you got laid off? Is it, I mean, 
being laid off at you know 19 it's is pretty pretty uh, like rare right mm -hmm. yeah you did it did it i mean what was your emotions when you got laid off i was like wow like i don't even know like what should i even do like just aside from my business and i was really aiming for getting more experience in you know human resources because for that job i would be doing almost everything i'm not really just assistant i'm actually the hr but mm -hmm. you know i was still in training for both of those jobs and then they're like you know what um student employees are not allowed to come in anymore so <laughs> i was like oh okay but so so did you yeah. do the whole um you know unemployment thing as well i tried but because i think I didn't have enough days okay. working there. They didn't really do anything. Okay. So, gotcha. yeah. So, so then now it's like, oh, so did you, so what happened after? Did you went looking for another job or what's, what's the plan now? I was actually holding because I didn't want to have another job while I had like the human resources and my other jobs. So I've been holding off, but I just emailed them like a couple days ago to see how fall semester is going to be. And they said, most likely they're not going to have me um, into work anymore. So um, I'm looking for other jobs too right now. Okay. How's that going? It's all right. It's slowly getting there. Is it, um, is it a tough market right now? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's what, that's what everybody's saying. Um, that I'm talking to. So mm -hmm. I just wanted people to know that it's it's hard. So, you know, when you <clears throat> when you rely on that job, you gotta have some sort of something to, like a backup plan. And this is awesome what you're doing because you have a backup plan right now. Mm -hmm. Um like a like a side hustle when you had when you had your primary business or you yeah. had your primary mm -hmm. income, which is what like assistant you said, HR assistant. Mm -hmm. And then now like that and then your secondary income was Kind of like this particular business that we're going to talk about right now so that's awesome mm -hmm. so now you are you i mean i don't know if it's enough but we'll, we'll dig into it so so what is what is the side hustle that you mm -hmm. got into and you know tell us about it yeah so i actually have a online business i sell cosmetics it's called hx cosmetics mm -hmm. um hx for hope Shong, obviously but i thought it was a very catchy name because you know it kind of rhymes you know but yeah. um, yeah, I started, you know, planning my my um, business since last December ish, because my dad was like teaching me like, you know what, you should start your own business. Like, you know, there's so many great opportunities out there if you do. And I'm like, yeah, that's so true. You know, 2020 is gonna be my year. I'm gonna start 2020. So <laughs> I opened um, my business in um, January. I um created my website and everything and I created it through Wix um, and I just you know did self-design I just used whatever they provided all the tools that they had um, and you know I really used Facebook um, business pages as a you know as a help to kind of build up my websites and viewers and you know so yeah um, that's what I do I sell I started off with selling lashes because there's a lot of girls who like lashes. <laughs> right, right. And then I started right. to like contacts and makeup palettes, makeup brushes. Yeah, right. I'm slowly going. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll dig into that in a bit. So let's start mm -hmm. with that entrepreneurship part, right? So you had that in, did you have that in you or were you motivated by your dad? I mean, I had it in me too. I was. I was always dreaming of like, you know, creating something of my own, like a brand of my own, or I always thought of something near that. I was like, maybe I'll design stuff for people who, you know, sell makeup, or maybe uh -huh. I'll just advertise for people who have makeup, but I never really pictured like, maybe I could just do it on my own. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just do it on my own. So yeah, that's one thing. Okay, cool. So then your dad was like, hey, why don't you why don't you try something you know yeah, something start, start business yeah. by yourself did he did he did he help you at all or were you just like i'm gonna take it i'm gonna run with it uh he helped me a little like you know giving me advice like you know what you could just start an item that moves and then go with that because that's how that's how you're gonna grow with that too 
and stuff uh-huh. like i think cosmetics does move because you know girls these days they like cosmetics and everything <laughs> they can never get enough <laughs> right right so so i'm trying to so he said those of you guys just joined we got a hope from uh milwaukee wisconsin uh give us a shout out tell us where you guys are at i'm trying to click on i don't know if you guys see it but i'm clicking on chinu just to say hey he's representing north carolina we got angel representing chicago do you guys see that at all i'm gonna ch- check to see if the tools are, are working here um angel says he's from appleton uh but but let us know uh yang says he's from wisconsin Wisconsin, uh, yeah, Wisconsin. So Kerr says he's from Appleton. Let us know where you guys are Hi. from. So give us a shout out so we all know, you know, so see what, you know, where you guys are all from. Uh, but we got Hope from Milwaukee. <clears throat> and she's just, uh, we, we just want to know what, what motivated her to start her own business. And she basically said, you know, mm-hmm. it was already in her, right? So you was already in you. You want to do something. And your dad kind of came along and kind of, bumped you just a little bit and now yeah. you're doing your stuff <laughs> that's awesome um yeah i mean did you had this big vision saying hey you know this is going to be huge or i mean what's i mean tell us about it like i mean what, yeah. what was going through your head yeah. that's my goal like i want i want it to be huge one day and eventually i want to go towards like other things like skincare or like um you know other kind of cosmetics or beauty you know yeah so yeah but okay so i mean how did you how big of how big did you want this to get you know like or is this just a side hustle it's like hey you know i'm getting some just income along the side and and hr is my thing you know Mm -hmm. down the road i mean i want it to be big and i mean it's good to have a you know degree in something as well but i do want this to be like my main priority throughout the way um mm-hmm. so that's why i am slowly growing and i hope that does continue in the future <laughs> and i do <laughs> i do see it still growing in the future if like in like 10 years yeah that's awesome so cool yeah so um i mean it's it's good because i mean i don't know you can take this really far like really quick mm-hmm. uh or you can just say hey i want to do this cool thing i want to get my degree and then, you know, use that as a side hustle. And then it becomes, you know, you get your degree, you know, and then you do a second stream, which is this. And then you get two incomes coming at all at once. So, um, uh, yeah, so uh, that's 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 cool. I mean, is that is that where you want? I mean, are you just trying to figure it out, you know, like which was going to be like, which is going to work or you're just like. Um, to, what's going I, through your well, head? Well, I think I am still trying to figure it out as well, but I do want it to go big. <laughs> um, okay, cool. But it it really do does depend on the future too as well. But I I for sure want to go big, um, but I also want to have a degree on the side. I you know if I do not work as HR, I'll most likely work towards this business most of the time. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about this business, right? So uh let's see here a few questions here uh man so many questions uh people are just talking back and forth we got a few people saying hi uh yeah. let's see here. she says angel said hey can you speak in mom yes <laughs> but <laughs> but nothing not right now uh, angel i might have a problem speaking at home you know no just kidding so yeah. uh we'll stick to english for now uh but she How does much? speak good Hmong, right? So I mean, she, I don't think she has a problem yeah, with there. that. Yeah, um, I can, so, but I just I'm not comfortable. <laughs> so Michael says, "Hey, he's going to get into cosmetic business." So Michael, we got any questions? Go ahead and comment below. Um, see here, my son needs to watch this. So Archie says, "Hit my son." Hey, Archie, how old is your son? You know, let us know. Um, we got a few of see them. So we got a, we got a Sacramento, California. Uh, Pantel says, yay, Florida representing. All right. And we got Minnesota representing. We got Brooklyn Center, New Zealand here uh, from William Yang. William Yang is from New Zealand. Huh? Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> True. All right. So, so tell us. So uh, what is it? HX Cosmetics, right? Mm-hmm. So you went ahead and built your own website. 
Yes. Wix. And tell us about Wix. What is it? Um, so Wix, it is a platform that actually helps you create websites. So it can be from like, you know, selling items, actually, you know, contacting uh, customers. Um, so I just started off with that. Um, it's pretty nice. You know, I use I use a plan with them. So I do pay monthly for that. Um, it's mm -hmm. like 20 27 28 dollars a month 28 dollars a month uh -huh. and um with that you know with that plan i'm actually able to see you know what kind of viewers are coming into my website so if you're on this live right now i'm getting a bunch of you know <laughs> clicks onto my website too as well oh wow but, you can't do this in real life yes i do i it pops up and it also tells me where they're from and like what um where what page they're on on my website as well which is awesome um, it also tells me what kind of like um, what kind of where they're where they're from and like how often they come on as well. And yeah, yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool. I like the tools on it. So so it's uh, HX Cosmetics. So let me just copy this link and then I'll put it on there so you guys can see what it looks like uh, H HX. Oops, I guess. Yeah, let me just type it out one www hxcosmetics.com and I'll put show <clears throat> uh, I hope you guys see that you guys see that is that what, are you seeing it well yes I do okay, wow, cool. so cool. <laughs> hx cosmetics so if you guys want to see her products on there uh, that's awesome so you go on there you you create the site um, and you know I mean, does it take long to create this stuff? I mean, um, it's actually pretty easy. I probably took about like two days to, or like at most five hours to put everything all together. Um, okay. Including all the pictures of my products and everything like that, and all the descriptions, um, yeah. my inventory for it as well. So. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So you so you got that done, and then let's talk about the products, right? So. How did you get the products? Is it something that you 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 picked or you most of the products like are the or? ones that I picked, yes. And I do customize them with like, you know, my own brand with my own stickers. Um I get my products from vendors. Um there are a lot of vendors out there that, you know, sell a lot of, you know, um wholesale prices. Yeah. Which you know, I talk to every, you know, supplier to see if they're you know, able to work with me and if I'm able to work with them and they're all really nice too. So there's a lot of vendors wow. out there that you could talk to about, you know, starting these products. So, do you, so you're actually going out to vendors. I mean, are you just Googling them? I mean, Googling them, you're just, <laughs> you're, how do you finding them? Are you just on the web searching for like, Hey, I want to, I want this particular product. And how does that work? I mean, yeah, so. I do. Um, <clears throat> But I also look through like um, places out of the country, like China. So like um, AliExpress is a big one, and Alibaba. Um, those are really good if you want to hustle. <laughs> wow! Because they have a bunch of things. They don't just have cosmetics, but they also have like electronics, clothing, uh -huh. you name it, and everything that they just create okay. and sell. So. In your head, you're going. I want cosmetics, right? So you're mm -hmm. you're just targeting stuff that you like. Is that right? Or are you? How do you come up with your products? Um. Well, I started off with doing a lot of makeup videos, and I'm like, you know what? I should also um do like um you know something that relates with beauty too. So that's why I did do beauty because of some things that I've already started. Uh -huh. um, and I do feel like that is something that a lot of girls see like on Instagram, it's always just like, you know, promoting all their businesses of like products and everything. So that's why I thought it kind of moves with like cosmetics. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But as far as choosing the products, you're choosing the stuff that you just like, right? Or do you use often? Or are you going, hey, I see that there's these eyelashes that everybody has been buying that I want to get and maybe I can market for, for more money. Is, is that... I mean, is there a mindset to that? Or are you just saying, hey, you know, I'm just picking this because I like it? Um, no, I do pick things that are, you know, good to sell. But I would also pick things that people like. Um, so, like, for example, this makeup palette that I have. Let me show you. Yeah. 
Awesome. So I like more of natural looks like this. This is one of my makeup palettes from yeah. HX Cosmetics. Um, but I also chose like really poppy ones, which I really don't play with these colors. But a lot of people do like colorful, um, you know, makeup. So yeah. I do select things that are uh, to my customers' liking. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. So I mean, all right. So you. So let's say you you found something. So then, what do you do? You just reach out to the vendor. You just what is it like an email, or you like you call them, or how's that work? Um. So mostly it's their <laughs> phone number. They mostly use WhatsApp, or um, they just use email as well. So they do co contact me through email. Okay. As well. Yep. So then you message them. Hey, I want to be. Or I will be. I'm looking at these. I don't know, three. 3D mink lashes, and I was yeah. wondering if I could see your um, catalog or your inventory of, to see what kind of things that you guys like or that you guys have. And then sometimes um, they would respond fast, and they'll just show me all the things that they have. And yeah. then I'll just pick and pick and pick which ones I, I like see that will actually sell. And yeah, yeah. Um, some of them, they actually do customize my things. Like, for example, um, this one, I customized this um, but then yeah it's a yeah. little cute and then it has like the lashes in it as well yeah. so you're talking about the the box itself they customize it for you mm -hmm. yeah oh does. wow is, is there a cost to that or is like yeah it is an additional cost yeah yeah awesome so all right so i mean let's let's get let's get to it so how do you negotiate are you just saying yeah so um, actually most of the time their prices are final. So, um, it's mostly dependent by their, the quantity you're trying to get. So it's mostly minimum quanti quantity of like 50. Um, there are yeah. some that are like 500. Um, but I mostly go towards 50 or less to see, mm -hmm. cause I don't want to get something that I don't really think would sell. Um, but yeah, I do try, like when I first started, I did test out some products. I didn't really buy a big quantity of them because I wanted to see if it's good and able to sell first. So it's always good to do that if you're a small business. If you want to look at products, you want to, you know, sell out. You want to buy items in a small quantity first. Yeah. See if it's pretty good to move and then grow big after that. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. So you're testing, you're you're test marking, you're you're testing the market to see yeah. what is appealing to people, yeah. right? So uh, that's awesome. So I mean, how many products do you have so far right now? Oh gosh, I have all <laughs> sorts of lashes. I have contacts, lipsticks, um, the dip eyebrow um, pompads, yeah. lip glosses. Um, I have. The I have like lash, um, lash. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I'm losing my mind like, right now. What is that? Is that? Is it's like that? it's like a tweezer, but you about. you use it to um use this to clip the lashes on, and then you could just put it on your eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> and then I have um these palettes. So I showed you some of them. This one. Yeah. Um, I have names for all of them. You guys could check it out on my page, but yeah. I do like these palettes because they are pigmented and I like the shimmers in them as well. Um, yeah. I have only like, I have two um, brushes, brush sets. This one, uh -huh. it comes with a marble um, brush pou pouch. Right. And then um, these are the lip glosses that I was talking about. They're very nice. It's smooth onto your lips. Uh -huh. um, I have about five colors. You guys could check them out. Mm -hmm. And then I also have a, um, a makeup highlighter. This one is like a liquid highlighter. So you just put it on your hand and then like um, it will shimmer. And then you could just slowly like put it onto your face as a highlighter. Mm -hmm. And then I have these contact lenses. These sold out really quick. I'm going to have to buy some more because um, – a lot of people so like it. it. That was one yeah. thing I do want to know. Like, okay, so what's your best product right now? Yeah. Um. So, actually, it started off with my lashes. My lashes yeah. they were selling out. Um. But then when I started bringing in contacts, color contacts, people yeah. started buying that a lot more. So, yeah. 
I say contacts and lashes are my biggest hit products. Oh, okay. So then yeah. I'm sure, uh, well, let's stop here, right? So maybe we've got tons of comments here. You know, we might have to yeah. go back and do like a, like, a, like a fast round so you can answer these. But, <clears throat> but uh, thanks, you guys, for giving her a shout out. Uh, I mean, we got people from SAC, uh, let's see here, East Woodbury, uh, Green Bay in the house. Uh, guys, give her a shout out. Let us know where you guys are from. We got Jade yes. from Detroit. Wow, uh, this is great. There's a uh, lot. Let's see here. Man, you guys have any questions, you know, or just give her a shout out. Just say, hey, you know, from I'm from like Jay from Michigan. Um, come on. Let's see here. What do you mean? Okay, your chain goes, uh, do you distribute it out to yourself or have another company package everything for you? Let's just do let's just do a quick question, a couple questions here, and then we don't, you know, we can kind of go for there. Does that does that do you see that question? Yes, yeah, so I yeah. So like drop drop shipping, I don't do that. I actually uh, buy everything, I actually keep all the products to myself. Yeah. And um and then once I do get an order, I actually like, you know, put my logos, my stickers, and then I um actually package package it out myself um awesome so mm -hmm. so you have it on hand and yes. then you ship it out that's awesome i mean mm -hmm. i don't know if that's a good thing or i mean i know some people do that drop shit thing i don't know how efficient that is but that's great i actually uh, like doing that because it's actually really fun to like put everything all together and then yeah. you know I really want to see people who open my packages and be like oh i really want to see their reaction sometimes <laughs> So yeah. with love, with love from, you know, hands on <laughs> from you. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Um, let's see here. Uh, assuming smart startups would be your best. Um, let's go to some of the questions before uh, before we move on. So one of the questions, uh, Matthew Lee says, you know, where do you get your funds you know, to start? Oh, yeah. right? So, um, I mean, you're 19 year old, year old, <laughs> you know, you just lost your job, you know. So how do you? Um, so what I did was I actually started working since 16. I've been saving up. Um, so most of the money came from my savings, but um, also from my supportive family. So, you know, my parents, they really support me on this too, um, mm -hmm. especially during this time because of COVID and unemployment. So it's so mostly like from my parents and from my savings. So, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so parents and then, you know, savings, uh, that's, that's, that's great. I mean, I mean, I don't remember having savings when I was 19. So that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, so, so you bought that yourself. What is it? They take credit cards, you send it to them and then you get those stuff. Right. And then, so let's talk about profit rise. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let's say, let's talk about like, what was your biggest, well, one of your biggest product, your contacts, right? Yes. Contacts about one of the contacts, like how much are the contacts? So, for contacts, I bought like one box of these for two dollars and then I sold them for like, um, let me see, I gotta double check. Sorry, <laughs> six dollars each. So, then wow. I get, up, yeah, um, so I really tried to aim to like, um, you know, keep the price low so then yeah. i can so then you know i could help others as well so oh so you're just you know uh yeah so that's that's considerate right so you're mm -hmm. just trying to say, hey you know you're not trying to milk them right you're yeah just say, hey, you know it's it's a decent price and how do you how do you do shipping is that including shipping or how does that work um so shipping uh i do i do pay for the shipping if it's over 35 of their purchase but if it's under thirty five, they do they pay for their own shipping. It's like five dollars okay. for shipping. Okay. So yeah. All right. Cool. So that's that's a pretty good profit margin. So, um, wow. Mm hmm. Huh. Maybe I should start changing my investments. To <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. It's never that too is late. like that is like what is that two hundred percent return almost? I think that's. Two dollars, you buy for two dollars and you're selling it for like six dollars. Man, that's like two, four, six. Man, wow, that's that's crazy. And then, 
are you doing like as far as like uh, marketing how are you marketing this um well i do have a, a business page on facebook and i do like um, take pictures or i have people like my customers you know post photos and i feature them so then it kind of shows out like all the products too as well um, oh. so yeah okay cool so let me go back to uh just trying to i have so many comments here let me go back and uh yeah. let's just hit some of these out so i think um i think boa says hey i love your products so it looks like that person has bought Aww. your product before thanks how do you market your products aside from your website? So Michael goes, how do you market your products aside from your website? So I think we talked a little about that, a little about this, right? You on Facebook, right? Yeah, yes, I do. And is that um, all? Is that Facebook, all you're targeting? Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, oh. I go everywhere. <clears throat> wow, okay. Uh, fast uh, market research angel says market research Are you, did you do any market research at all um i did a little research um I, and i did well just a little mm -hmm. how much yeah yeah okay so i mean i think you're kind of just based on what you like and hopefully other people like right is that mm -hmm. kind of what you're yeah gotcha. um how how much was the logo i can barely read this uh, my logo much? so for my lash logo um yeah. well it actually came all together so it was like a package deal so i bought like i think i bought about like six i bought 60 cases mm -hmm. for 160 so it to do the math and all the shipping and everything i mean they didn't really give me a price of how much the um the logo was mm -hmm. um so yeah but it does it does include mostly it's about like 20 dollars to print a label onto your products yeah it's never really less or more 20 or 30 if they really really want to make money they'll probably do like 40. <laughs> oh but, okay yeah. so you say product like all the like if you buy them bulk you're saying that they'll print it on all the products right mm -hmm. yes oh okay cool <clears throat> so give you kind of gives you your own brand branding i guess mm -hmm. yes right so cool uh see vagos hey keep up the hustle thanks um, um victoria says we're from green bay you guys have any questions uh message her or just give her a shout out it's, uh awesome awesome young entrepreneur here uh, Adam goes, have your customer reviews with a video opening for a promotion. <laughs> That's a good idea, Adam. That is. Um, I do I do have, like, thank you letters, and it does say, like, share a photo and, like, you know, um, tag us and we can, like, feature you um, just so that we can kind of see, like, what the products look like on um, others. Um, yeah. But customer reviews – as videos yeah that would be great too i could probably reach out some of my customers right now <laughs> yeah uh let's see lulu says great passion always great to gain experience your business is awesome great thanks uh, chang goes what's your what's your on the scaling i wish i can uh oh what's your plan on scaling your business bigger it's kind of weird, like my uh, this 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 bar that I had to click on. Whenever I put it, my mouse over it, it covers it up. So sorry, Chang. So what's your plan on scaling your business bigger? Do you, so do you have a plan, or are you just kind of going with the flow? Um, right now I'm going with the flow because um, COVID and it's kind of slow right now. But um, I am planning on bringing more products in, like um, more contacts, especially and more items that kind of draw people in and so yeah i am trying to brainstorm more of like products so it can you know grow bigger gotcha yeah. gotcha uh and you guys are awesome man. i mean I, I'm, I'm reading some of this and you guys there's a lot of motivation here you mm -hmm. know like archie says you know car covid has not slowed down spending keep up keep hustling so that's awesome um 
uh, Sai goes, sell as high as you can. <laughs> yeah. I have do, you tried that? I, yeah, I have. But um, I do see other businesses that sell very high. And sometimes I feel like they are a little too high. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. it is nice, too. And I am planning on selling a little higher, too, as well. Like, so, like, like, uh, like a contact, like, what's the highest you've seen it, it as? Um. I haven't really seen for contacts, but mostly for like lashes, it'll be from like 27 to like 15, which is and a little pretty high too for like one set of lashes. So like, I mean, how much are you buying it for? Like your your best one? My best seller ones, they, I buy them for like $2 and I sell them for like, I sold them before about like $10. $10. Jeez. Think, yeah. Holy cow, this business is, is breaking in. That's crazy. Yeah, so. it is. Like, <laughs> I mean, I've been seeing a lot of um, small businesses for like cosmetics now too. So yeah, I mean, I see them on I see them on my Facebook feeds and my Instagram feeds, but I, I'm, I'm a guy. So I just <laughs> scroll Step past away. Them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that I, I'm seeing the numbers here. And these numbers are outrageously crazy so that's awesome yeah uh, i mean see. but even if you're a guy you can still shop for your significant other or someone oh. that you know you know <laughs> now true hustle right here guys that is <laughs> true hustle right there trying to get us guys to you know buy for a wife and girlfriend and stuff like that. that's awesome so yeah that's yeah. great you're hustling right here that's <laughs> yeah. how we want us guys or our you know our movement to be you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's awesome uh uh, Shong Ye says, would you consider finding people to help you market your products? Yeah, so um, I did contact some people to be like my brand ambassadors, like to uh -huh. brand out my um, lashes. Um, and I do consider doing that in the future as well. So, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so what was, the, what's, so I mean, we'll go back to the questions here. So what's the biggest obstacle that you see, you know? Um... Is it just I'd, selling or? I'd say just selling. Yeah. But then I do get like a lot of website viewers and everything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's, yeah, it's mostly just selling. Gotcha. And I did notice when I went on your site, let me go back and put your site back up here. Um, it was pretty cool. When you designed it pretty well. Um, Thanks. <laughs> you, uh, you did, uh, you did a capture, so when they come in, they're putting their information in, like, like their emails and stuff like that. Yeah. That is cool. So then you can follow up on those. Yeah, all those subscribers. Or like during special events, like back to school, you mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. I mean, I think I mean, saw you have a back to school sale going on right now. Yeah, so I actually do have a back to school sale. Um, it's just going to – it's going to end – on September 18th, 2020. Um, so you get 25% off your whole entire purchase if you buy from us. Um, you, just ha you just have to use the code SCHOOL2020. Um, but you know what? There's also another sale going on for you guys who are watching. Um, oh. I did do another discount, so it's going to be 45% off. Um, you just have to use the code Hmong Hustlers, so we know <laughs> that you did, you did come from us. And so, yeah, just use the code Hmong Hustlers and you'll get 45% off your entire purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> awesome, guys. That is smart. That's straight up hustling, guys. So what she's <laughs> doing, she's, she's trying to capture the market. She's trying to see what, uh, what you know, her audience, right? So mm -hmm. new, now you know who's watching, who's, you know, who's, uh, yeah. you know, during this particular, you know, so then you can offer some sort of, this, you know, so that's awesome. Uh, I see a few questions, man. Dude, you are, this is me. Are you, yeah, oh, how this are you is so these, awesome. <laughs> how are you learning these strategies? Are you like on YouTube learning these strategies? I mean, this is something that you don't, I mean. I mean, mostly I just think of them and then I do do research online too as well. Yeah. And I tell you why. I tell you why I say this because I spent like, like a thousand dollars learning how to do like, like a funnel, I don't know, you know what a funnel is or how to capture, you know, 
customers and stuff like that you're yes. already doing that kind of stuff and you're not i mean you're not paying for it so like that's what i'm saying like you're kind of like you're just kind of figuring this out so that's amazing mm -hmm. you know <laughs> so hey. kudos to you uh let's go back to the questions thanks for the <laughs> comments guys uh archie you're funny so you have you uh tony tony trans says you have good margins um i guess they're saying i guess they are familiar with your your business here i would buy 200 oh archie you're hilarious what is your current prospect to buyer conversion percentage man i don't even know what that means Do you know Me what he's talking either. about <laughs> no um yeah so i guess we, go ahead i guess what we're saying is how do you how much when you talk to people or you're you're pulling people in how are you what's your success rate for them to buy something um i'd say probably like 50 percent um i mean when i talk to people it's mostly on social media like you know there's a sale going on or these are my new products um i do get like you know some people you know making purchases and everything like that and then others you know they just look and view um so yeah because my business is mostly you know e-commerce so i don't really talk or um anything like that oh okay yeah all right all right all right so yeah guys uh at last we're getting close to the end of the hour so if you got any questions uh comment below we'll go ahead and uh go through some sort of lightning round and just answer those questions uh let us get let give us a shout out uh so mm -hmm. we know what you guys are from uh she's looking for wisconsin folks to see how many wisconsin folks are on this on this yeah on this live right here so um yeah so let's uh so how do people get a hold of you Okay, so I do have the website, and you can actually text me on there with the chat. Um, so there's a uh, there's an automatic chat, but um, if you do message me, I do get the notification. Um, you can also email me. It is also on my webpage. It's um, the beauty, but then with the e with the three instead of the e uh -huh. in beauty, xo at gmail .com. I can also comment that. For you and you can probably highlight that if you like oh we'll put it in the in the show notes okay so, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so we can do that or i think you can just go to this to the hxcosmetics.com and mm -hmm. they can just message you from there right yep it'll be on the or, bottom of the page if you like to email me gotcha. or on contact gotcha. page and uh you can we, you can contact her through facebook which we tagged her yep. already on there uh check out her site uh i forgot you say she, you have tons or tons of products on there already, right? Yes, I do, and I am planning <laughs> to you know bring more. <laughs> That's awesome. And then if you guys want, you guys just came in and looking for some sort of discounts, Hmong, Hmong yep. discount, put in Hmong hustlers on there. She'll give you a discount. Yep, forty five percent off for your purchase. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> thanks, Hope. Yeah, uh, thanks. So, yeah. Are there makeups for dudes? There are. I mean, it it could be the you know, it could be like anything. To be honest, guys can use the makeup that I sell. It's really up to you. <laughs> Archie, you can buy the girl ones and make that your makeup too, right? For dudes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, guys, uh, I mean, just uh, thanks for you know just coming here and just giving her a little motivation. I know I see a lot of uh, motivation um uh, comments here uh yeah hey hope i know thanks you're awesome this thanks. is this is this great info that you're supplying and hopefully you're inspiring like young entrepreneurs as well mm -hmm. uh it's awesome that you are you know you know you're looking for a job well you're you're shooting for some sort of job but you have some sort of side business along the way too so you don't get trapped like you know if you lose that job you know, you have something to pick up from, you know, and this is your side hustle. Uh, that's great. Um, so uh, I, I'm going to stop here with the questions and 
And if you can, can you come back and just answer some of them down the road? Yeah, yeah, I could actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. And then you know, I, I come close to the hour, so we do have a few things to to wrap up and say. You know, one last segment of the show is that we usually ask all our guests is that if you had a billion dollars, what would you do with it? <laughs> if I had a billion dollars, <laughs> I would definitely you know invest more on this, but I do also uh -huh. invest. On stocks too. My brother Adam brought me into it, so I do want to invest on stocks too. Um, maybe, you know, give a treat to my parents because my parents, you know, they raised me well. So I'll probably uh -huh. give them some money too. But a billion dollars—that's a lot. I would love that. <laughs> well, that's just to, just just to open your mind and say, hey, you know, what can I do? You know, mm -hmm. without without money, you know, have to worry about money. And I guess the answer is you're taking that money and you're basically going to try to multiply that money to get more money. Yeah. You know, that's Investing pretty much is key. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys. Yeah. You know, uh, on the show, we talk about money, right? So there's mm -hmm. the rules of money is, you know, you make money, you save money and then you just multiply money. And that's basically, you know, she's trying to do is just take, you know, a billion dollars. She's trying to multiply that to, to more money so that's awesome mm -hmm. um let me see if there's any uh more last thing what is this uh william says he's just trying to get in ahead <laughs> william says william says at 19 he was still playing video games <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> all right guys so hope hey thanks for coming on the show yeah um, thanks for having me i'm actually so glad that you have this because yeah. like People do contact me like, oh my God, what do you do? How'd you start your business? So it's actually really yeah. nice that you have this too. And well, to, you know, show the support of all the all the other Hmong businesses. So yeah. it's nice. It's just to uh, just motivation. I mean, it's great that you're you're doing this and hopefully you inspire other younger, younger folks. And like I said, yeah. at 19 I was at I was I was not doing anything. So <laughs> kudos to you for doing this. Uh, any last words? Um, thank you so much for, you know, watching and joining us. Um, and if you didn't hear, there is a 45% off. If you are watching this, um, you just have to use the code Hmong Hustlers. And yeah, you'll get 45% off for your whole entire purchase. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right, guys. So uh, you guys have a good night. And uh, like we said, always keep hustling. All right. Yep. All right. Bye, guys. See you bye, later. guys. Bye. bye.